Hey everyone, Trevor with HustlePaintball.com here and I'm going to show you a video on how to install a cyclone feed system on your Project Salvo. Now the cyclone feed system upgrade that you're going to be using is the one for the Kitman 98. So let's bring it in a little closer and I'll show you how to get it done. So the first thing I want to show you is what actually comes in the cyclone feed system upgrade package. So let's just go ahead and open it up. You have your instruction booklet. As well as watching this video, you probably want to look over that. Cyclone, standard cyclone feed hopper. It's the one that comes with the A5. The cyclone feed system itself. And then your banjo fitting. So, we got our project salvo here. And what we're going to do is we're going to install the cyclone feed system. So the first thing you want to do in installing your cyclone feed on your Project Salvo is you want to remove this part from your port here. Just grab a flathead screwdriver and it comes out really easily. Now you do want to be a little careful with it because it is just a little plastic piece. If you break the head off of it, it's obviously not going to be able to come out and uh, it's, it's really hard to fix. Once you do that, you want to grab your banjo fitting that was provided and screw it in the same place. You want to make sure that the barb right there is oriented this way. You kind of want to just hold on to it while you're screwing in the banjo fitting there. Now that we got that in, let's zoom out really quickly and I'll show you finishing putting on the cyclone feed system. So just like you would install your feed elbow when you first get your salvo, you do the same thing with the cyclone feed. You line up these two pins, slide it in, push it into place so it latches, you're good to go. This hose right here, you want to push it into that barb on the banjo fitting that you just installed recently. Rotate your, your piston housing so the hose doesn't have any kinks in it or anything. And uh, it's time to gas up the marker and see how it works. Okay, now that we got the cyclone feed system installed, let's gas this baby up really quickly. This is actually a Project Salvo with the e-grip installed, so we're going to be able to get really fast rates of fire out of it. Turn it on really quickly. Cock it back. Awesome. So really quickly what I'm going to do since I have it aired up, uh, I can see from here that the cyclone feed actually is rotating. I'm going to zoom it in really quickly and show you exactly what that looks like. You can see here I got it zoomed in really closely. I'm just going to take a couple of shots with it and show you how it cycles. See, every time it fires, it cycles. So as you saw, that cyclone feed feeds one ball every time you fire. This is a really, really great upgrade, especially if you've got an e-grip on your marker because it's really gonna keep up with those rates of fire. It literally rotates every time the marker fires. No matter how fast your rate of fire is, this is going to rotate with it. Uh, it's especially great for the Sabo and the Alpha Black because unlike the Tidman 98 Custom ACT or the Custom Pro ACT, it doesn't come with anti-chop technology and it only feeds a ball every time the marker fires. So it's going to keep up. Uh, you're not going to have anything that's halfway loaded. Uh, it's, it's really, really great. It's going to make it so chops are near impossible. If they do happen, it is because your Cyclone feed is highly, highly malfunctioning. Um, I can't say enough good things about this upgrade. Not only that, but it does offset, especially with the Salvo, it, it offsets your hopper so you can get some tactical sights on there and you can really look in them well. It's not going to cause any issues. It's just, it's just something that is uh, 
almost necessary with a marker like this. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions or comments, send us an email at videos at hustlepaintball.com. And remember, you can get this gear or anything else at hustlepaintball.com. Thanks again for watching, guys.